Erica, I'm Rob Finnerty. The Russian troop buildup on the Ukraine border as members of NATO and in Washington concerned about a possible Russian invasion. For more, let's welcome in the new ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee, Ohio Congressman Mike Turner. Congressman, great to have you on. Good to see you. Good morning, Rob. Thanks for having me. Uh, congratulations to your, uh, on your new appointment as well. Um, you were you. handpicked by, by Leader Kevin McCarthy. You're taking over for California Congressman Devin Nunes, who was uh, very popular within the caucus, but he is, uh, he's retiring at the end of his term. Uh, how do you plan on dealing with committee members like Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell? You know, I want to thank Kevin McCarthy for his confidence and certainly for his dedication to the Intelligence Committee turning back to its roots and looking to national security, trying to keep our country safe. And of course, as you mentioned, Devin Nunes is a man for history. Uh, what we know about the Russia hoax, we know as a result of his intuition and his hard work in trying to ferret out uh, what was happening and the, the threats that were being made against uh, Donald Trump and Donald Trump's presidency, accusations that were baseless. Um, the, uh, what we're doing, I think, that's going to be really important is looking in this committee as to ways we can turn the dialogue and the debate uh, to our adversaries, to the intelligence that we have as to what those who threaten our country uh, are doing so that we can meet uh, those, those threats. And I think over the next year, uh, we'll be able to see what members uh, will rise to that occasion and be able to put together a coalition on a bipartisan basis of those who want to work to protect our country. Well, it is a, a hugely consequential position, uh, not only in an off-year election year, uh, but also with everything happening right now. Um, I want to talk about the situation uh, on the Russia-Ukraine border. Um, there are scheduled meetings tomorrow uh, where this will be discussed by NATO. Uh, is Russia still moving on Ukraine? Do you believe this? Well, we certainly see from the buildup and, and the rhetoric that we're hearing from Putin uh, of their intentions uh, to invade uh, Ukraine. Um, Putin has been saying Ukraine's part of Russia, which, of course, it's not. It's an independent country, a validly elected uh, government. Uh, what we're also seeing is that this is a result of the weakness of the Biden administration coming off the debacle of Afghanistan and the fact that uh, Russia amassed troops around Ukraine in April um, and then retreated back to Russia, and this administration did nothing. They took no time uh, to provide weapons to Ukraine so they could defend themselves, bolstering our NATO allies in the area or even increasing the presence. And this is a threat to our NATO allies and certainly a threat to the United States. Uh, the president should be rising to this. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as he's engaging in, in only dialogue with Russia, he's bolstering them by weakening Ukraine and not providing them the lethal weapons they need to defend themselves. Yeah, and he keeps um, positioning his argument, our argument as a country, as when Russia invades or if Russia invades, right. we will do this. Um, what do you make of that, that sort of past tense uh, rhetoric instead of saying, if you do this, our action will be this? Right. Well, see, you know, there's already an agreement in place, the Budapest Memorandum, where Russia agreed to uh, honor the territorial integrity of Ukraine, as did the United States. To enter into negotiations to get assurances from Russia of that which they've already promised is certainly redundant, and it certainly weakens um, any type of, of agreement or treaty that comes from Russia where we say you don't really have to abide by what you said before, but maybe this time you will. Um, the president has a defeatist view of this. And, and um, you know, I think our NATO allies and certainly the United States look weak uh, when we should be bolstering Ukraine, uh, giving them the lethal weapons that they're asking for. They're asking to defend their own country. They're not asking for us to put troops in Ukraine and fight Russians. Right. They're asking for us to give them the ability to fight for themselves. Yeah, we never hear about deterrence from the White House, and I think that would be so much more effective. Of course, Russia invaded Crimea right after the Sochi Olympics in 2014. Uh, we're less than a month away from the Beijing Olympics. Would it surprise you? And we've just got about 15 seconds if we saw uh, invasions of Taiwan and invasions of Ukraine uh, right after we wrap up the Beijing Games. Whenever we see that the United States is weak, we see that our adversaries and those who are authoritarian governments take advantage of that vacuum. Uh, so I think we certainly are, are by you know, having this administration's weakness, um, both weakening our allies and increasing the chance of conflict both in Taiwan and Ukraine. Yeah. Congressman Mike Turner, a pleasure having you on. We really appreciate it. Look forward to having you back you. Uh, throughout the new year. Thank you. Congratulations.